Hello, this is Austin. I just want to give an update here. I now have two my clouds connected. Uh, the first one is my original three terabyte that has been having some issues with the new firmware, and the second one is a new three terabyte my cloud that Western Digital has sent me to replace this one. So I'd like to show you some of the transfer speeds of the old drive and transfer speeds of the new drive. Both the old drive and the new drive have the same firmware. The only difference is the old drive has some functionalities disabled, like the content scan and the MyCloud, I'm sorry, the cloud access. The new MyCloud has no changes. The only difference is that as soon as I got it out of the box, I updated the firmware and I've added a shared folder for my name. Other than that, everything is the same. So let's get right into the transfers here. What we have here are two folders. One is the Jolly Cloud at the bottom and the Jolly Cloud New at the top. So what we're going to do is the benchmarks here is we're going to copy a file from my local hard drive to each of these my clouds and see what kind of speeds we get and then we're going to go the opposite direction so we'll get this done real quick here so let's first let's copy from the hard drive to the new my cloud and let's see what kind of speeds we're getting so it looks like we're getting some pretty decent speeds here 85 uh, looks like about averaging 85 this is a 4.5 gigabyte file that we're transferring And we ended up at about 78 to 80 megabytes per second, which for the new cloud is pretty nice. So let's do that same transfer to the old my cloud. Again, some of the functionalities have been turned off, which may affect some of these speeds. So the speed for the old my cloud may be a little bit different. So let's see what kind of speeds we're getting here. It looks about the same. Everything looks to be uh, the same from the local hard drive to the MyCloud transferring. It's about 75 to 80 is uh, what we've been getting here. This one looks like it's going a little lower for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Possibly just a small glitch should bounce back to about 70 to 75 megabytes per second here. And for some reason it's kind of going down a little bit to 50. Normally this would be about 75 to 80 as well on this old MyCloud. Very strange. Uh, I don't know why it's uh, doing that actually. That's um, typically the files transfer at a very, very high speed uh, between 75 and 80. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and go the opposite direction now. We're going to transfer a file from the my cloud to my local hard drive. So we'll do it from the, uh, let's try it from the new drive first. Let's do a simple copy and paste. And let's see what kind of speeds we're getting here. So from the MyCloud, very, very good speeds here. We're topping about 100 megabytes per second.
Very nice. So we'll go ahead and delete this now. And we'll do the same from the old MyCloud. And I suspect we'll be getting the same speeds because the transfer rate from the MyCloud to the PCs have never been an issue. But we'll go ahead and verify that. And as you can see here, uh, it looks like we're getting about the same speeds here. Probably maybe 20 megabytes slower for some reason. But still a pretty phenomenal speed in my opinion. Once this has finished running, I'm going to delete the files that are on the MyCloud and redo the same transfer rate to see if the second transfers have slowed down in any way uh, due to content scanning or for whatever reason. All right, so we'll go ahead and delete the files on both drives. So already you can kind of tell even the delete process takes a little bit longer on the old MyCloud. But just for the sake of it, we're going to once again transfer a file from my local drive to the MyClouds. We'll go from, let's start with the old MyCloud. And let's see what happens here. Well, already we're having issues. Um, the transfer rate has drastically reduced for whatever reason. So that's just something that's been going on. We'll go ahead and cancel that because I don't have that time. So let's do the same transfer from the local drive to the new MyCloud. And sure enough, we're getting some very, very good speeds here. And we'll let this run through just so, so it's not worth canceling right now because it's a pretty, pretty decent transfer rate. So in conclusion, with these transfers, as you can obviously see, the old MyCloud has some kind of transfer issue. Once the file has been transferred from my local drive to the MyCloud and either deleted or moved or whatever, and another file or possibly the same file gets transferred to that folder to that MyCloud again, the transfer speeds have drastically reduced for whatever reason. Now I know that these two benchmarks on these two MyClouds are slightly different. The difference being the old MyCloud doesn't have content scan enabled or the cloud access enabled, the, which I feel like should not make a difference in the transfer speeds due to the fact that uh, the old MyCloud has less to function uh, has less uh, whatever has less components to look through or whatever else less things to scan so that's where we're at right now the old MyCloud has some significant problems um, with the transfer rates in the new MyCloud so far has no issues so now the pr now the task is to transfer all of the files about 1.5 terabytes from the old MyCloud to the new MyCloud and get this old one sent back to Western Digital and inspected for whatever problems it may have. That's all I have. Thank you very much.